I ride a 2006 WR450. And the way I feel about electronics is I don't need them. I like simple. This thing's got a carburetor, but this bike is putting 100 horsepower to this back tire. And having traction control is kind of nice, but how does it work? Can a rider do better than traction control? We're gonna find out. We're gonna test these and see how it works. No, no, was there any traction control? <laughs> I was, to be honest, very, very surprised. I, I expect a little bit more, but we, we have to say it was really, really slippery. It just proves again, you know, it, it's, it's not, not all about uh, technology, right? And you cannot just all the time of fully rely on your traction control. Well, we're gonna go into rally mode, and we have uh, one to nine. Uh, nine is basically like rain mode, right? traction control mode, and one is almost uh, off. So we're gonna we not have we don't have so much time. So what we're gonna do is one, five, and nine. Exactly. We're driving cars on a Mars tonight. We're passing up to the stars tonight. All right, here we go. First lap, level one. This dust is so, so fine. It's just coating everything, coating the cameras. Chop, chop over the bumps. Lap one, boom, 14.14 seconds was the first lap, 13.4 and 14.1. So we're in level five now, <clears throat> we're checking this out. Lap number one, here we go and it starts. It'll be interesting, it'll be interesting to see which one puts the power down. Boom. 13.9 was the first one, boom, 13.5. The second one. And we have 13.8, all in the 13s. Lap one, dialed all the way to nine. He's not getting a lot of wheel spin. The first one was 13.67, 13.21. Uh oh. not really spinning at all coming out of the turns 13.83 oh yeah yeah I definitely have to hit the gym a little more it's been a while since I've been riding supermoto <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah. Were you surprised by that? Um, you could feel. You could feel that, especially coming out of the turns, you just had a little more traction there, right? You didn't have to focus so much on your throttle hand and um, your, your, your weight and stuff. And uh, so, yeah, that was noticeable, right? But I was a little surprised. I expected a little more from five. Uh, one in five, there was a difference, but not that noticeable, right? Uh, so I wonder if one and two, I, I guess that wouldn't be any different. But nine was basically where you can, you know, kind of, uh, if you don't have so much time and you just want to play a little bit and have that flat track feel, uh, you go into nine and uh, it still skids out, right? But it really keeps it in check, right? So, and with that said, you know, coming out of a turn, you really feel that pull, right? As in one and five, you know, you're still kind of, you know, I want to say fighting the bike, but you're trying to keep your bike in check, not getting, letting the rear tire get out that much and really try to get the bike going to the front, right? Um, so yeah, uh, time-wise, so like with number nine, with nine uh, setting, it's faster. Um, not as much fun though, right? And to me personally, um, I, I might come back more, more often to combine fitness training and riding because now I want to beat uh, the, the nine setting lap time with one. <laughs>